In this module, we'll look over some ground-based lightning detection networks, which operate using fundamentally different mechanisms than GLM. Ground-based lightning detection, detection networks operate at very high frequency or very low frequency radio frequencies, so VHF or VLF. Both have benefits. The VLF radio waves can travel further because they are less attenuated by the atmosphere. However, VHF signal from lightning flashes is usually stronger. Ground-based lightning detections work via one or of two mechanisms. The first is the time of arrival technique. It works by using at least three sensors that detect the same lightning flash. Suppose both receiver 1 and receiver 2 detect a lightning flash, which is denoted by the red dot. Now let's suppose that the lightning flash occurred closer to receiver 1 than it did to receiver 2. The emissions from the flash would, receive, would reach receiver 1 first. Therefore, there'd be some delay between when the signal got to receiver 1 and when it got to receiver 2. That delay tells us that the flash must have been somewhere along this upward and downward pointing hyperbola. However, with just knowing the delay between two signals, we can't pinpoint where exactly along the hyperbola the flash occurred. However, if receiver 3 also detects the signal, in this case, just a little before receiver 2, which is a little further away, then the additional delay in the signal arrival at receivers 2 and 3 defines another hyperbola along which the lightning flash could have occurred. The intersection of the two hyperbolas is the location of the flash. The direction finding technique uses directionally oriented sensors to detect in what direction a strike occurred. However, a single sensor contains no information about how far away the strike occurred. Additional sensors can better constrain the location of the strike. However, the possible location of the strike increases with distance from the nearest sensor. Seen here are a few old and newer versions of ground-based lightning sensors. The U.S. National Lightning Detection Network is a proprietary network of both DF and TOA sensors located throughout the continental U.S. And the reds indicate the direction finding sensors, the blue the time of arrival sensors. The network has very high efficiency at detecting cloud to ground strikes, even during daytime when GLM detection is more challenging in a background of reflected solar radiation. The median location accuracy of this system is less than 200 meters, making it a much more precise method of locating lightning than GLM. However, while such a dense network is excellent for lightning detection over land, its detection efficiency falls off rapidly as one moves away from land. Worldwide networks operating in VLF, such as WOLAN, the Worldwide Lightning Location Network, can provide global lightning detection. In VLF, less attenuation occurs, therefore the emitted radio signal of lightning can be detected several hundred kilometers from a strike. However, because the VLF emissions by lightning are small, only 20 to 30 percent of strikes are detected. Still, of the strikes detected, Woolley can provide highly accurate locations of lightning. However, GLM is more reliable at detecting lightning strikes over ocean at the expense of less precise geolocation. And shown here in the bottom right is just a map of Woolen stations uh, around the turn of the last decade, 2008 to 2012. Um, showing the location and time of establishment of those sites around the world. An example of woolen data is shown here in this animation. The blue marks represent lightning strikes and the red stars indicate locations of ground-based stations. And several features are present here. You can see cumulus clouds in the Amazon and lightning along frontal boundaries both in the Atlantic and the Pacific. And then other disturbances further south in the East Pacific over here. Other networks do exist. Some large area networks such as ENTLN use VHF so that the network can better detect intra-cloud flashes. However, because VHF is more attenuated as it passes through the atmosphere, more sensors are required to reach full global coverage. Some interesting videos can be seen also at the site linked here. 
I encourage you to check it out. It contains some videos of lightning detected via interferometry. While not an application for lightning detection, the videos still show details of the evolution of lightning strokes at 5 to 10,000 frames per second and make for a really interesting watch.